Hello everyone, my name is Juman Jung and I'm here to present today's topic about politics. Since I brought up the, um, the difficult, probably pretty much the most difficult topic ever, so I decided to go first. Mm -hmm. So, let's get started. So, before I start, let me ask you a question. What is the most selling brand of jeans in Korea? Any, any um, answers? So, yeah, I brought some <laughs> candidates for the winner. Mm -hmm. Right here. Uh, yeah. Well, there are very famous um, brands in here. Yeah. There are Gas, yes, Uniqlo, Levi's for sure, True Religion, and Kelvin Klein. Pretty much, I think you guys uh, already own some of these brands, um, jeans. Well, um, can you guys guess the answer for the question? Uniqlo. <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, it's, it's really a uh, uprising of brand in Korea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like pretty much every um, many people in trainees because it's too cheap. Yeah. They buy jeans in there too. I have my friends who buy jeans in there. Mm -hmm. so. Well, actually, Levi's. 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 I, I own some. I, I own some pairs of Levi's. Wow. But actually, the question, uh, the answers for the question is not in here. Oh, oh well. <laughs> can you get? Can you guys think any other brands of jeans? Like you cannot. You I pro. I bet that you guys cannot imagine any other other um, brands other than this. Oh, that's a good guess. <laughs> but however, it's all, also not an answer. So oh. I brought an answer. Well, it's a a, a really shocking answer. Familiar. <laughs> Familiar. Bang bang. <laughs> Well, long time ago, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe in in your neighborhood, you you guys just pass through this store, but never go inside. <laughs> but the actually the number one most selling brand of jeans in Korea is Bang Bang. Mm -hmm. By far, it's like a doubled uh, result of any other brands. Well, guess what? I have a, st a statistics about this brand. Can you see the numbers? Mm -hmm. In 2012, 2,300 billions of won was sold in just one brand, Bang Bang. You cannot imagine how much the money is. Like, yeah, it's a lot. Like, well, so I brought uh, another number. Well, you, we all know Gucci, don't worry, which is very famous, very expensive. Everyone wants to buy it. Well, the thing is that um, they're selling um, uh, uh, their selling amount is way less than Bang Bang. It's like one thousand and eight hundred. It's just, it's not even close to the uh, yeah to the Bang Bang's <laughs> result, which is very shocking. Well, have you have anyone been to Bang Bang before? No, I think. I yeah I yeah, you did <laughs> pretty much everyone did. I don't I don't own any anything mm -hmm. in Bang Bang, and I've never heard of who use Bang Bang products in yeah like I just I didn't see anyone like yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> but since I, I I bet they are very comfy because you know they sell a lot. Mm -hmm. So. Why I brought up this question, which seems really unlikely to be connected to the um, our topics politics, but there is a reason. Well, the reason that I brought up the a brand is there is a, a one uprising theory called Bang Bang Theory. It's actually first suggested by a Korean blogger uh, who implemented this theory into the result of 19th Korea general election for the. Um, senators. Mm. Well, he is um, in his 30 and he is liberal and he used all the SMS since he is a young generation. Mm -hmm. So he is uh, comfortable with technical uh, innovations and he owns technical devices too. And I bet he sees um, news and political opinions on the internet too. So. In the internet, we are pretty much younger, I think, uh, like young people use internet more, way more than the older generations. So, 
he, implemented, yeah, he suggested the Bang Bang Theory because um, young rebel people tend to perceive internet trend as it is the, a real reflection of the whole public opinion, which is not true. Yeah. In internet, well, there are a lot of um, younger generation than the older generation, so the, um, the internet trend is not really um, the real reflection of the whole, uh, whole world that we are living in. So, why he brought up this uh, theory? Because, well, this is the result of 19th um, Korea general election, which was held in 2012. Well, in that um, um, era, people, like I, I'd say young liberal people, were, were quite mad about the uh, current situation because um, um, in, back in the days, the, uh, the current um, administration was held by Im Ba and it was almost the end of his era and he was doing um, many wrong um, business plans including you know the and stuff so pre uh, many uh, young rebel people were against of his um, belief so they think that this election is so important because it's all, it's only held in two, four years. It's like presidential election, mm -hmm. and uh, we have to win this uh, election in order to change the regime mm -hmm. later on, mm -hmm. um, which uh, we will have the presidential election later in 2012. Um, yeah. So the importance of the election was really high. So the public opinion on the internet, everyone was. Um, so saying the, how important the election would be and we have to vote and we have to do something and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, including the blogger who, is, um, uh, who suggested the Bang Bang Theory first, pretty much everyone, every young liberal people who use the internet, they, they uh, believe that they will win mm -hmm. in this election because they only see through the internet, not the whole world. But however, if you see the map, well, we are uh, the young liberal people's uh, belief went upside down. Yeah. Like in this part, we cannot see any yellow which represent liberal side of part in Korea. So, well, they were shocked, and the result was quite different from the dominant opinions on the internet. Like as you see. And it shows that the opinion on the internet may, mainly brought up by the young generations who are more likely to be, to be liberal. So he used the bang bang theory because in like I, I just asked you guys a question about the most selling jeans and you guys answered like Levi's, Uniqlo and Guess, whatever, which is fashionable and young kind of brand. But however, in fact, the bang bang is like far more than this is like doubled uh, figures of, uh, of the numbers. So he said that Bang Bang Theory is um, a reflect that how internet opinions can, can be different from the real um, um, opinions on the, um, on the society. So maybe we need to look further because the uh, internet cannot reflect the real world that um, correctly, because uh, so that we maybe need to um, put more time not only on the internet but also maybe newspaper, TV, or just you know any other sources that can show how the real public opinions are um, are um, on uh, regarding the politics. So. That's why I brought up this bang bang theory to you because I think that this theory is very interesting because pretty much none, none, of, none, none, none of people in 20s or 30s would guess bang bang as the number one most selling gene, uh, most selling blend of genes. So, and, but do you even care about this? Like many, many people in 20s, they don't care about politics. I. I'm sad to say that, but it's really, sh uh, really um, true because, um, well, there are many st statistics that 20s are the lowest um, generation who vote. 
which is um, absurd because maybe you you are you just became an adult and you gained the right and you don't use it and I think that's just not okay so I brought up another question why should we vote well we we tend to think that well, well we have to vote but if we, we if we are asked a question why and we may not have any um, rigid answers to that question. So I wanted to help you guys to um, set your mind <clears throat> why we have to vote in later place. So I can go on and on and on, but I just brought to three. First, because we live in a democratic society, because the democracy just builds with the votes of single pe single person, so maybe the voting is not choice, but you have to do it. And second, because we still have complaints. Well, I've seen many people who have complaints about the government or how the tuition fee is so expensive in um, university. And, um, but um, I've seen that those people didn't vote for election and they say, keep complaints about these things. I think that's um, ironic because um, voting is like the only one, uh, pretty much the only one way to express your opinion to the parliaments and the congressmen how to fix these problems mm -hmm. because you can vote for the um, politician who has the same uh, belief or has the same um, vision with your um, opinion. So maybe if you have complaints, maybe you have to vote. Well, I think if you don't want to vote, then, then you just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Stay with it, I think. And third, because uh, we are all women and um, we are in a um, women's university, I brought up this third one. Because many lives took away to gain the right. The women's voting right has not come in just easy way. I cannot count how many lives was take away from, took away to gain the right. Well, um, can you guys guess what year in Korea that women get uh, get the right to vote? It's yeah, um, the year is 1948. So it's less than 70 years that women are um, able to vote, which is like not that far away, like maybe our great-grandmother couldn't um, vote because she simply she didn't have the right. But now we have the right and it's, you know, it's not, it's not something that you can take it for granted. But um, many of uh, fellow women were, um, act, uh, were involved in this, in this issue so hard. Maybe we have to um, appreciate their um, effort because they work to uh, work for us to gain the right for the next generation. And I think that we have to use the right to. Mm -hmm. And the last, I mean, why not? I mean, because it's the easiest way to change the world we are living in. Because we cannot be, we, everyone cannot be a politician or everyone cannot be a, a president, mm -hmm. but we can, we can vote, which affects the direct, directly to those leaders who set the rules of our society. So I think, um, I, I just, well, you can leave your ballot blank too, like if you don't want to vote for anyone, like maybe you don't like anyone. Well, I, I can agree with that. Well, but many people say like, kunomi <laughs> kunom, no, and stuff. But they are not the same. Like maybe there are slight difference. Like you have to look at the uh, the catalog that they send when their election day is coming, and you can see all the information that they have. And if you look at through it, look through it, they are not the same, guys. Mm. If you see their um, vision or their uh, ways that that they have been through and stuff, maybe there are. I, I'm sure that there are someone that you will feel um, this is the one I, I will give my vote to and stuff. So I think because again, the, it's, uh, voting is the easiest way to change the world. 
So maybe um, we are in our 20s and maybe we have to think of, uh, harder about the politics because we are the next generation who will lead the world in later. So um, that's why I brought, the, brought up the Bang Bang Theory and uh, the importance of voting in election because um, to, uh, to express how, imp uh, how important that our 20s can be um, in politics in a real world. Mm -hmm. Thank you.